Shingen fell to Hanzo Hattori's surprise attack at Mika Takahara. His son Katsuyori, in an attempt to succeed his father's will, began another march to the capital soon after. It was now Nobunaga's forces that stood in the way of the Takeda army. Alright, so here is the next stage, the Battle of Nagashino, and as you can see, this is also a field stage. I'm pretty sure we're going to be playing field stages non-stop until we get to the next uh, character story. But anyways, so as you can see, the objective is plain and simple. We have to defeat Nobunaga Oda. If Katsuyori Takeda, or if I die, or if the time runs out, we lose. So, for the equipment... The weapon, we have the third tier weapon, the Lunar Spear, so I'm going to equip that. Items, I'm going to add the Himiko's Rune, or Himiko's Rune. So, we're good on that. The Bodyguards, I'll leave it as be. Now, for the unit info. For the Takeda army, you have Katsuyori Takeda with Nobukado Takeda and Nobukimi Aniyama. Yukimura Sanada, which is me, and Kunoichi, Masekage Yamagata, Masatoyo Nato, Nobufasa Baba, Masatanehara, Matsa Sugu Tsuchiya, and Nobushige Oyamada. For the Oda Tokugawa forces, you have Nobunaga Oda with Nobutada Oda, Keiji Maeda, Mitsuhide Ekechi, Katsuishi Bata, Nagahide Niwa, Toshihie Maeda, Kasumasa Takigawa, Ieyasu Tokugawa with Tadakatsu Honda and Yasumasa Saka Kibara, Hanzo Hattori and Nobumasa Okudaira. Alright, let's do it. So if I recall, if I do this right, I'm gonna have to chase down Nobunaga and defeat him. But let's see here. Show the world the might of the Takeda cavalry. My lord, are you teaching The enemy barricades will not be easily destroyed. You can move. You are still inexperienced. Why not start with a siege on Nagashino Castle? See, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna defeat the enemy inside that castle. And look out for those fucking Sky Ninjas. I'm pretty sure I was talking about the uh, different types of soldiers. The Sky Ninjas are the one force that will give me the biggest problem of them all. That name speaks for himself because uh, they attack. When they attack, they jump up in the air, up in the fucking sky. And if they make contact with you, you're going to get sent flying up into the fucking sky. So you might want to be careful with that. Anyways, so we took out the uh, stronghold and we defeated Nobumasa, so we'll head on. That was pretty easy. We won't be far behind. Just gotta be careful because in this stage, Nobunaga does that. Fire. Those who do not change are doomed to be forgotten. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. Charging. We have to reach their base camp before they finish reloading. And they're gonna continue firing because uh How can this be? what Nobunaga will say in a little bit. Do not falter. We can still win. Pretty much riflemen are or muskets are the new uh ranged uh, troops. The 
besides archers. And I'll tell you, one shot while you're on the horse, you'll automatically get dismounted. So be careful. It's not like with archers as we saw in the first part where I got shot multiple times with archers and uh, that wind up uh, knocking me off over a set period of time. Anyways. If one musket can fire while another reloads, then continuous fire can be achieved. The might of one warrior is no longer a match for numbers and strategy. Alright, so we're going to go up and defeat Mitsuhide. Might as well. Hmm. This could be a challenge. Difficult opponent. Alright, Mitsuhide is down. And now I'll go for the ambush troops. Uh, yeah. Tadasugu. Enemy officer defeated. Most impressive. I shall withdraw for now. We'll just have to one up them now, won't we? Do not falter. We can still win. We will not last. have to prepare for the worst all right he's right over here and we'll go for him next and there we go Now it seems like they're going for it. Alright, we'll go for Keiji Maeda now. I'll take that horse. So far, so good. Now, uh, uh, uh. Enemy officer defeated. <laughs> nice moves you got there. Well, I just defeated him. Is it another mission that just popped up that I just don't realize? Or am I just seeing things? Well, we'll go for Hanzo next. There we go. And there we go. Hanzo's down. I can do no more. All right, we're hanging in there. Who's left? Wow. It's just me and Katsuyori. Well, technically, when it comes to this battle, Nagashino is where, if I'm not mistaken, is uh, the battle where the remnants of the Takeda forces gets wiped out by the Oda Tokugawa army. 
I know uh, Masa, if I'm not mistaken, I believe it's Masa Yuki Sanada and uh, Noble Yuki Sanada all fall, or both fall. In the stage or in the battle. Alright, now Yasumasa. Now the objectives change. So, if we get Kasayori to retreat, we win. And you're gonna have to worry about that as well when you're playing the stage under the ta uh, Tokugawa Oda forces or Oda Tokugawa forces. Alright, there we go. Alright, so for this mission, because the other ones are plain, simple, and straightforward. However, for this one, you need to go straight for Nobunaga now. Because if you take your time with it, Katsuyori will say, pretty much say, fuck it, and retreat. So if you want to actually complete this mission, you need to go straight for Nobunaga now. Because I actually tried it, and, uh,. Pretty much uh, ended the way I didn't want it to, which had Kasiyori retreat. So, if you want to go for this mission, which is what I'm going to do, I'm going to defeat Nobunaga now. So far, so good. And there we go. Got him. Enemy officer defeated. This really be the once mighty Takeda army? My lord, words cannot express my shame. I will show no mercy in battle. And that's a win. Alright, so that's another one down. That took us nine minutes and two seconds. I was expecting this to actually happen because uh, we're pretty much going down, if you want to call it that, the historical route of Yukimura Sanada or Yukimura. So this was to be expected. I mean, realistically speaking, if I'm not mistaken, when it comes to actual history, Yukimura never really served under Shingen when it comes to actual history. It was his brother, uh, Noble Yuki, and I think Masa Yuki as well. So, just a little fun fact. I could be, um, I know I'm, I could be a bit off on that. Uh, let me, I'll check that out in the meantime, but. Let's see what we have here. Uh,. I like the item uh, weapon I have now, so I'm going to discard that. Uh, who cares about jump in my opinion? Well, you know what? Technically speaking, in some cases, jump is actually a big deal. But I'll talk about that when we get there. But I'm going to discard it anyways. Uh, ooh. I like the fire element. I, I really don't have any elements equipped yet. Uh...
I'll just caught it. Wow. Really? We have the same exact item and same exact uh, bonus. Plus two. And we have a better wind gloves. Alright. So here's a point total for the bodyguards and overall point total. Is our experience, as I already said, you know, with the upgrades and all that. So, hopefully, we get more skill points out of this. Uh, yeah, we got a little bit more. Not a whole lot more, but a bit more. Now, let's see what we have here Frenzy, attack may double when near death. Obviously, if you're comparing it to Dynasty Warriors, that's your survival guide. So, there will be abilities or skills that if you upgrade certain skills, other skills will be totally useless. Um, there is one where no matter what, if you get sent flying, you will automatically somersault. So, I think that's called Grace. So, if you have Grace equipped, something like Frenzy will never work, even if you equip it. So... When it comes to skill points, make sure you know what you're equipping and know how it works. So, anyways, we have that. Uh, mounted attack power increases. I really don't have a horse right now, so I'm not going to do that or upgrade that. Uh, rally assisting an ally increases ally morale. Oh, I definitely need that. Okay, so Fortitude, defense may double when near death. Obviously, if you compare it to Dynasty Warriors, well, Dynasty Warriors 3, that's basically the, your uh, defender. Uh, focus, your Musa Max increases easier. That pretty much, if you are comparing it to, that's going to increase your Musa Gauge. And I'm definitely going to do that. And Discern, which is better items can be found so you can actually upgrade your luck even further than the actual item that you equip for uh, your luck to be increased uh, and I haven't unlocked that item yet it is a typical item that you'll find in stages but right now I currently don't have it so I will uh, yeah, I'm gonna hit that for one, two, and then I really haven't shown off the elements, but basically these are the combos that you would use for that particular element attack. So, and then you have ward, an element shot, which is basically... Your range attack will also have an element attack or element effect to it. It all depends on what you have as your weapon. Uh, well, it all depends on what element you have attached to your weapon. Obviously, if you don't have an element attached to the weapon, you're not going to get any effect to it at all. Um, and ward, resistance to enemy elemental attack. So basically, if they have one, um, you're not going to be affected by it, which will help. But... When it comes to elements, I'll go through those and toy around with those later on. I'm going to try to get the main uh, skills first, simply for the fact that I know them way more in comparison, and I could actually go through these story modes without any element uh, upgrades. So, anyways, moving on. So, that's what we have here save but I do want to look up something real quick
Yeah, so Nobusuna Sanada and Masateru Sanada both uh both fell in that battle. But anyways, let's save. And there you have it. You have been watching my gaming adventures featuring Samurai Warriors, and I'll see you in the next part where we will go and continue on with the story. And the next stage will be Defense of Ueda Castle. So, with that being said, peace out.